Okay, so here's the box, obviously, for the new iPhone 4S. I have a white one here. They do the packing slip in the outside to keep the box pretty, uh, pretty empty, actually. So here it is. The box is pretty similar. It does have an iCloud logo, you know, perched on the bottom. It has an S on the side, but other than that, it looks identical to the, you know, iPhone 4 boxes. So here we go. We got the nice new iPhone 4S. Anything new in the box? Nope. Same, same old, same old. Charger, USB, headphones. Not too fancy. So here's the phone. Again, just like the iPhone 4, it, it, it really does look beautiful. It's extremely thin, you know, metal, the aluminum silica glass on both sides. It does not say 4S on the back. It's the same size here as the iPhone 4. If you compare it to an iPhone 4 for AT&T, the buttons will be shifted. So same buttons as Verizon iPhone 4, different buttons from the AT&T version does add a SIM card slot for obvious reasons because it is a world phone so that will now be on everyone you know all the Verizon people's like mine it's not any thicker or anything like that the main difference is that it actually shipped with white and uh, you don't need a PC or a computer a Mac whatever to set it up but if you do want to restore you do gotta go through all this so it actually was fairly quick this time it seems faster than usual so Let's check out Siri now. We'll go over a few of the basics. Text Fontaine, are you coming over to watch Dexter tonight? Here's your message to Fontaine Baptist. Ready to send it? Cancel. Okay, I won't send it. Do I have any meetings next Wednesday? You don't have anything on your calendar for October 26th, 2011. What about next Tuesday? Okay, here's your meeting. As you can see, it followed along with the conversation and still knew I was talking about um, calendars and appointments that are coming up. How many carbs are in a bagel? Checking my sources. So this one was a little bit slower, but you can ask it a lot of stuff that's built into Wolfram Alpha, stuff like, you know, carbs in a bagel. I found this for you. And there you have it. You can see all the info there, calories and all that, that you would want to know. So that's kind of the kind of trivial stuff that you can ask it besides your actual like appointments and text and stuff like that, dictation things. So things like that are pretty handy. You don't actually have to search for. But it does have some random limitations. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? It depends on whether you are talking about African or European wood. Obviously, you've probably seen stuff like this. It does have a bit of an attitude. Um, we can do another one. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is... Well, I don't know how to say it in your language. It's sort of greenish, but with more dimensions. So it does have kind of a bunch of cool little built-in sayings and stuff like that. Kind of real uh, smart aleck answers to your questions, which is kind of cool. You can actually sit there for a while playing with it, just seeing what stuff it'll say. You can do uh, location-based reminders too, which is actually pretty handy. When I leave here, remind me to call my mom. Here's your reminder for when you leave here. So it knows when I say my mom, it means, you know, my mom and her name. And it also knows my current location. So when I leave, it pops up. So let's go over the phone a little bit more here. A little bit, a few close-ups so you can really see the phone. But if you've seen the iPhone 4, if you've seen the 4S. You um, might not have seen the speed, though. It is really quick. Has the new newsstand with the new uh, newsstand store for all the periodicals, magazines, newspapers, etc. That you can download. They do auto update in the background, and you can you know pull up your subscription stuff like that. Keep everything up to date, and you can kind of shop around. That does not go into a folder though, which is kind of annoying for those people who don't want it. I like it 
more on my iPad, but either way. So again, it has reminders too. There's iCloud and on your phone reminders. I would like if it would use the iCloud reminders, but it always keeps putting them into my on the phone ones for whatever reason. So, oh well. Again, clock is now on the main screen. There is a new videos app and there's a music app. So they kind of separated iPod into two separate apps into one. Oh, based on clock, I forgot to show you the alarm <clears throat> thing on Siri. So you can see here. Can you wake me up tomorrow morning at 8 a.m.? I can't set. Change or find alarms for specific days. So you have to kind of, sometimes it doesn't work exactly. Let's try it again. Can you wake me up tomorrow at 8 a.m.? You've already got an alarm at 8 a.m. I turned it on for you. So there you go. Just turns my alarm, but it doesn't make a duplicate. So let's go over there. Also, a new few apps that Apple came out with. There's Find My Friends. There's Cards. There's the Movie Trailers and Showtimes app and Airport Utility. Airport Utility is really nice, especially if you have an Apple router. You can see all your home network and your setup, especially for more complicated systems like mine here, where I've got three routers going on. Let's see. So that's about it. Um, the cameras are obviously hugely different. Um, I got some videos here and some photos here at the end. I'll do a couple close-ups, but it does do 1080, 30 frames a second. The flash no longer has rings around the lens. Um, the front camera is also the same. So the speakers actually on here are a lot louder than the other one. Um, it actually ranks higher of the loudest speakers on the phones now. It was actually kind of quiet. So now it's much louder, so it's good for speakerphone as well as listening to music and videos and the like. There also is a new quick launch camera button right here from the screen. You can see that launched much faster into the camera than the uh, iPhone 4 did. So it does have a new few features besides being 8 megapixels and being able to do uh, having a fifth lens and 1080 and all that. You can do pinch to zoom on, I believe, this one and the iPhone 4. I'm demonstrating horribly right here. Um, it also has auto exposure and focus lock by holding it down. And it does have, uh, it can spot faces for taking portraits. So that's all new. So other than that, let's, uh, we can look here. This also has a new uh, wider aperture, uh, f2.4, if you're familiar, but you can't really tell too much by looking at them. Here's the new one again, but either way. So here are some photos I've gotten. These are just close-ups of some flower and stuff like that. I really want you to see the detail and the crispness and the color balance in these photos. They turned out, you know, really well. Even when we zoom here, in here, you can even see the pistols and everything are still really crisp even when zoomed up. Here are a couple videos. I really like the light on this one, and this is all done with the auto balance of the iPhone 4S. But again, here's a video. So real quick, I did want to do a quick little kind of stack up between all of the, you know, recent models here from the 3GS there on the bottom to the iPhone 4s, AT&T and Verizon black and white, and the new 4S. So there's obviously the 3G with the round back, 3GS, same thing. The middle one is the Verizon black iPhone 4. It has no SIM card slot. And the top and bottom ones, one is the old AT&T iPhone 4, and the bottom, the other one is the iPhone 4S. And the top one there, sorry, is the black AT&T iPhone 4. So, again, you can hardly tell the difference if we compare them one by one here. Let's start with these two. One, two. Okay, see these are one's the iPhone 4S, the other one's the iPhone 4 for AT&T. They both have SIM card slots. The new one is the one on the top there because it has the replaced band and the lowered buttons. The buttons are slightly shifted, so the bumpers will only the new current bumpers will work on both. And again, there's the SIM card slot. So. Anyway, here it is against the you know black iPhones, one Verizon, one AT&T. It looks identical to the Verizon one except for added SIM card slot. Well, guys, that's about it. So make sure you subscribe and uh, check it later.